Foxy came to help me today. So recently someone asked me, why do you cover so many family law cases, divorce cases? Why do you do so many of them? And it just so happened that I had like four or five in a row. And it's just what had come up. I think this week somebody would probably say, why do you have so many garbage human cases? It's just what pops up. I take them as they come. All right, court is calling 2022 CR 11241, State of Texas versus Jose Torres. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Defense? Are you, for the defendant? Are you Mr. Torres? Present. Counsel, have you received all of the discovery that you review with your client? We have, Your Honor. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Mr. Torres, I'm showing you what's entitled application for deferred adjudication or community supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Showing you what's entitled true bill of indictment. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Counsel, do you weigh the reading of the indictment? We do, Your Honor. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? Your Honor, we uh, moved to proceed on counts two and three and waive count four. Any objection? No objection, Your Honor. All right. And counts two and three, are those indecencies? Yes, Your Honor. Same right. Mr. Torres, I'm showing you what's entitled court admonishments and defendants waivers and affidavit of admonitions. Did you review those documents with your attorney? Did you understand them? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Did you understand in count two and count three, you're charged with indecency with a child by contact, contact that's a second degree felony. The range of punishment is anywhere from two to 20 years in prison and up to $10,000 fine. Did you understand? If you have a plea bargain agreement with the state, the court doesn't have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that the that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Did you understand that the court does not have to follow your plea bargain agreement? If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call and the right to remain silent? Did you understand by entering this plea bargain agreement you were giving up those rights? You're going to have to speak up. Yes, sir. And did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Did you understand if the court were to grant your application for deferred adjudication, if for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, the court could sentence you up to 20 years and up to $10,000 fine in count two and three. Did you understand? Counselor, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? He has, Your Honor. Do you believe he has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against him? He does, Your Honor. Do you believe he's currently confident and was legally sane at the time of the offense? He is, Your Honor. Mr. Torres, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter this plea? Mm -hmm. Has anyone promised you anything other than the plea? Satisfied with the way you've been represented? I'm sorry. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? A little bit more. Yes. All right. Has anyone coerced you, threatened you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter the plea? Yeah. Are you a U.S. citizen? Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived his right to jury trial, showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? According to the plea, the court is asking that your, I'm sorry, the state is asking that your punishment be assessed at four years in count two and three. State will remain silent on your application. There's to be chapter 62 compliance and no contact with the complainants. Did you understand that to be the plea? Defense? It is, Your Honor. State? Yes. Showing you the paragraph entitled waiver of appeal paragraph. Did you review that paragraph with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in both places? Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Counselor, there any such motions? There are none, Your Honor. Then to count one, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? Uh, it's two and three, Judge. I think I'm three. sorry. To count two, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? To count three, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? State any evidence? State's exhibit number one and all attachments. No objection. All right, state, you may continue to confer. 
Sean, you what's entitled wavering consent to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Again, did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call and a right to remain silent? Did you understand that today the state will be presenting evidence in the form of witnesses' statements and police reports, but most importantly, there will be no live testimony. Did you understand? Court will find that the defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments and review the same. All right, could I see the state? All right, after reviewing state's exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty of counts one and two. Court will defer finding of conviction on counts one and two as you've applied for deferred adjudication. We will come back on June 1st. At that time, the court will make a decision on your application based upon the PSI report and any other evidence that's presented to me. Counsel, is a TAP evaluation needed or no? I don't think so, Judge. All right, we'll see you back on June 1st. Ms. Ferguson will give you a reset form. Yeah. You're welcome. This should have been a simple plea agreement and it quickly turns into an absolute dumpster fire. The amount of time and money and resources that are wasted blows my mind and it infuriates me. I don't think this is what was intended by Gideon, but it could just be me, I don't know. You tell me what you think. During this first hearing, pay attention and tell me if you think there's anything that he's not understanding at all. You'll see why in a minute. All right, you're on this side. Uh, counsel, you're filing a motion on yourself saying that you're ineffective. No, I filed a motion. Um, I'm retaining your honor. No, this says motion to withdraw plea due to ineffective assistance of counsel. He, yes. was, he, he was not the attorney. No. All right. All right, then you, you have witnesses that you're going to call? Yes, Your Honor. All right, court is calling 2022 CR 11241, State of Texas versus Jose Angel Torres. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Brittany Mitchell for the state. For the defense? Adam Flores for the defendant, Your Honor. And are you Mr. Torres? All right, the defendant, the defense counsel has filed a motion to withdraw plea due to ineffective assistance of counsel stating that the plea was not entered into freely and voluntarily. Is that correct? Correct, Your Honor. All right. Do you have any witnesses? Yes, Your Honor. Who? Um, sister. And he was testifying. All right. How? All right. We'll call the sister, although she's not a party to the contract. Uh, what is her name? Um, Counsel? Wife. All right. Come forward. Yes. Can you raise your right hand for me? Yes, ma'am. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth so help you God? Yes, ma'am. All right, you can lower your hand. You're going to need to speak up so the court reporter can hear. Can you state your name for the record? Yes, my name is Mariela Guadalupe Torres. All right, I'm sure she didn't understand the first name. Could you repeat that? Mariela. All right, and could you spell your first name? M-A-R-I-E-L-A. -E All right, defense? Yes, Um. how do you know the defendant, Jose Torres? He's my brother. Okay. And you've been going to court with him? Since? No, the, since the first time he's been here. Okay. Um, how long you have known your brother? How long have you known him? My whole life. Okay. 37 years old. Okay. And did, did your brother finish high school? No, he did not. Can your brother read? Not as well. Does your, when, he, when he was in school, was he in special classes? Yes. What, what kind of special classes he was in? He was actually in special classes of taking care of, uh, not, uh, not reading right, I um, mean, can spell right. He does have part time to understand things as well. Okay. And 
I'm not, I was not that court appointed attorney that was assigned to you for this case, but did, did your brother convey to you that the court appointed attorney didn't review discovery with you or evidence? No, sir. Sustained. Okay. And did your brother tell you that? Um, I, I'm sorry. Okay. Sustained. Does your brother understand what's going on here? No, ma'am. No, sir, at all. And no further questions. Any questions? Um, no, no, Your Honor, not of this risk. I have a question. Is there any objection? No. no. All right. Um, are you, do you have any legal documentation where you are in charge of your brother's uh, legal affairs? Not at this point. No, that's either yes or no. no. Have you gone to a court to have yourself declared um, your brother's legal guardian? No, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Any other questions? No, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Defense, call your next witness. I call Mr. Jose Torres. Oh, thank you. All right, could you raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God. All right, you can lower your hand, state your name for the record. Jose Angel Torres. All right, defense. Um, yes, Mr. Mr. Torres. Did, did the court appointed attorney review any discovery with you? Any discovery? Uh, did me have any, any evidence with you? No, sir. He reset my court date four times. Okay. Have you gone to his office? One time. And what did he say to you? He was swamped with uh, clients and his assistant had quit on him. And we did not go over any, uh, any evidence whatsoever. And why did he? Why you didn't go over evidence with him? I have no idea, sir. Okay. Did you ask him to review evidence? No, I did not. Okay. They, did he show any videos to you? No, sir. Do you know, have you seen, did he tell you, have, has he seen any videos? No, sir. Okay. Do you know there's a, there's a, there's a video the state has? It's mm -hmm. called a state, state video. I guess. No, I did not know that. Okay. When you played out, why why you why you played guilty for or no contest? No contest because I thought it was not guilty. Okay. Because I asked him when I went to the office and he asked me, did it ever happen? I said no. I said they not guilty. Since the resets, now the last time I came around, he told me they no contest. Okay. Do do you understand what's going on here? Not that I'm not aware of that much, so. Okay. Do you understand when it, when it, when when the court says there's a cap of four years? Do you know what that means? Yes, stay tough. Okay. What does that mean to you? What was it cap of four years? Uh, prison. Prison. Okay. Did he promise you probation? Yes. Yes. Yes, he did. What kind of probation he promised you? Um, I think it was two years. Excuse me. Are you chewing gum? I am. Okay. Uh, yes. Um, two two years. Gum. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Did you finish high school? No, sir. Uh, why you didn't finish high school for? I dropped out uh, for working. Okay. Um, can you read? No, not the, not much, not as much, sir. No. Okay. When you were in school, what kind of classes were you were you in? Were you in? Uh, regular classes, and half the time I was in spe um, special classes. Um, no further question. Ma Any question? Um, all right, well, no, actually, no, I just argument. All right. Is this uh, your last witness? Yes, Your Honor. All right. The court will hear our argument. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Um, the defendant was not, um, he didn't. The court appointed attorney did not review evidence with him, Your Honor. There was an implied promise that he's gonna get probation based on his plea. Um, he told the court appointed attorney that he was not guilty, but 
All right, counsel, you are aware yes. that in this court, I go over in great detail the plea bargain agreement. And after I go over the plea bargain agreement, I ask all the parties, including the person who's accused, whether or not they understand that to be the plea bargain agreement. Yes, Your Honor. So you know I would have done that in this case. Yes, Your Honor. All right, you okay. may continue. Okay. The, and also, Your Honor, um, the client doesn't, Mr. Jose Torres doesn't understand what's going on here, Your Honor. He doesn't understand the procedure. He doesn't, he doesn't understand um, why, why the attorney didn't review evidence with him. Are you saying your client is currently incompetent? Yes, Your Honor. Right now he's incompetent. I did file a motion. So you called a witness to testify that you believe is incompetent? Well, Your Honor, um, I did. The way I perceive him, Your Honor, I did file a motion for, for a competency hearing. So, so you don't think he's competent, but you called him as a witness? Well, Your Honor, I have to. <laughs> well. The Texas Rules of Evidence, Rule 601, specifically addresses this issue, competency to testify. In general, every person is competent to be a witness unless the rules provide otherwise. The following witnesses are incompetent. Insane person, a person who is now insane or was insane at the time of the events about which the person is called to testify, or persons lacking sufficient intellect, a child or any other person whom the court examines and finds lacks sufficient intellect to testify concerning the matters in issue. It does not say what standards are used or anything else. It's left to the court's discretion. Also, this addresses the dead man's rule which we've talked about in other cases, specifically the estate cases. All right, uh, what the court will do is the court will uh, state, I'm assuming, well, let me not make any assumptions. Are you in objection to the withdrawing of the plea? I am in objection to it, Your Honor. All right, so with regards to the defendant, the defense counsel believe his client is currently incompetent. Um, the court will order an evaluation. Uh, are you requesting the court to have a doctor evaluate him or do you have someone that you're gonna have evaluate him? No, I have the court evaluate him, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Ferguson, can you let um, Magistrate's Court know that we need an expedited competency evaluation for Mr. Torres? Yes, ma'am. And what date will we come back? Yes, and tell them um, if they can expedite it because this has been waiting for sentencing since April 3rd. All right, thank you. All right, if you all will step back, do not leave the courtroom, she will give me a date. Is your honor, on the motion to withdraw the plea on it, would you deny or grant it? Well, I think the proper steps are, you believe your client is incompetent. Yes, your honor. You just called him to testify thinking that he's incompetent. Yes, your honor. So the proper steps would be for him, if you think he's incompetent, for us to determine if he's incompetent or not competent, because someone who's incompetent can't give testimony. Okay. So the proper step would be to have him evaluated for competency. And then if you would like, the court will rehear uh, your request of, that he be allowed to withdraw his plea. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Oh, thank you. So, sure. If you have a seat, we'll come back with a date for you. Thank you. You're welcome. The week following the last hearing, there was a psychological evaluation ordered. Then there was no movement on the case for like two months until Mr. Torres was rearrested for violating his probation. He was released the following day and told to follow the same bond conditions as before. No contact with the victim, no contact with a couple of individuals, no contact with anyone under the age of 17, no possession of firearms, and weekly reporting to pretrial services. All right, court is calling 2022 CR 11241, State of Texas versus Jose Torres. Can our parties announce for the record for the state? Defense. Adam Flores for the defendant, Your Honor. Are you Mr. Torres? Yes, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I have on the docket that you all had a competency trial. Did you complete that? Yes, Your Honor. And, he, and the court found him competent, Your Honor. All right. So then 
The next thing we have is we're here for sentencing. According to the plea bargain agreement that was entered on April 3rd, 2023, the defendant pled no contest to count two, count three, and applied for deferred adjudication. Uh, the state was silent on your application. Are you all ready to proceed with sentencing? Um, your Honor, and please support Your Honor. Um, well, we, I was not the original attorney that was assigned to the case, Your Honor. And we discovered new evidence, Your Honor. And I asked the state for discovery. And she said she, um, she, she, she has not received it yet. What new evidence? Well, allegedly, there's some body worn camera from when the arrest was made. It's an at large case, so it was like a separate thing. I requested body worn camera from the number that I was given by Mr. Flores, and I never received anything back from it. All right. So, is there body camera footage? Not that I know of, Judge, but there could be. The only way I heard about this is him saying that his client saw body worn cameras when they came in. All right. So the court is going to go forward with the sentencing. This has been going on since uh, April 3rd, 2023. All right. Have both parties received the PSI report? State? Yes, Your Honor. Defense? Yes, Your Honor. Anything you wish, any corrections to the PSI report? State? No, Your Honor. Defense? No, Your Honor. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Your Honor, I read the PSI and the victims are actions for probation, Your Honor. She will not... Um, she will not object to a probation on We're asking for probation on All right. Anything else you want to say on behalf of your client? No, Your Honor. All right. The court is going to deny the application. The court will find you guilty in counts two and count three. Is there anything you wish to say, Mr. Torres? Um, Your Honor, if you could give me a second chance, I mean, I'm, I'm so sorry if anything. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You want to raise your right hand? I'm sorry. Do you solemnly swear and affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes, Your Honor. Right, you can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Jose Torres. All right. There's something you wish to say. Yes, Your Honor. I just wish you give me a second chance. I, um, I, I was. Everything was. Good. I was working twelve hour shifts at Toyota, and it just everything just fell apart. Just, just wish you give me a second chance, Your Honor. All right. The court is going to find you guilty in counts two and count three. Is there any questions from either attorney? No, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. All right. The court will follow your agreement. The court is going to sentence you to uh, four years. TDC and count two and four years to TDC and count three counts two and count three uh, will run concurrently. There should be chapter 62 compliance and no contact with the complainants. And there'll be credit for any time served. I'm going to show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendants' rights to appeal. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. All right, good luck to you. Thank you, I'm Amy Yes. Thank you.